All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start a project for the KL43 board like this uh, and do it really, really quickly. All right, so we're going to go new project. We're going to choose our board like this. Next, we're going to make sure that the GPIO is selected right there. We're now going to change the name of the project by adding a suffix. I'll put um, today's uh, time, so 5 a.m., like that, as the suffix, so I can tell the difference between other projects. I hit finish, and so I'm just waiting for the project to set up. It is now set up. I can find the project files right here. I'm going to go to C source, source, this is the main source file right here. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to set up the pin wizard. So I'm actually going to do it. There's one way of doing it right here, but because sometimes we can mix up uh, pin wizards for different projects, I'm going to actually right click on the project name itself go down to MCU Expresso Config Tools, Open Pins, to make sure that I'm doing it for my particular project. Now what I can see is an image of the chip right here. And what I want to do is initialize GPIO E. I want GPIO E pin 31 because that's the one for the red LED on the board. So the MUX is set up and the clock for that is set up as well. We need both of those things set up in order for this to work. I then go update project code like that. It's now updated. I'm going to switch over to develop view. And so now if I go and check in my board folder to pin MUX, I should be able to look at the function where the clock for port E has been initialized and port E pin 51 has also been initialized. So that's good. So now what I need to do is I go into my main function right here. Right after hello world, I'm going to go port E. data direction register like that and I'm going to say that that is I'm going to mask it I'm going to say or is equal to and it's the 31st one so it's the top bit like that zero 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 And then over here, I'm going to go in my while loop and I'm going to say port E right after the increment of that counter port E port toggle. So that's the toggle output register. And I'm going to make that masked with the same thing. So 31 bits like that semicolon. All right. Now I could hit build here, but in case you've got multiple projects going, the way to make sure that you're actually building the right project is you go back to the project name over in this left hand window right here, click on the right side, the right click, build project. I'm now going to go over here and I'm going to say start debugging with the build configuration like this. Now, it didn't find the probe, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit search again right here. It didn't find it, so I'm going to detach it. I'm going to make sure I'm plugged into the open SDA, so it should say open SDA right there. I take my USB, I plug it in. I'm going to hit search again. It found it. I click on it to select it. Yep, there we go. We are now in the 
uh, p and &E semi-hosting console, which means we're in debug mode. And as well, you can see the little arrow right here saying that we're at this stage of the program. Now, I am going to step through my program using the step over or F6 command. I'm going to go step, 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 step. And now I should see hello world show up in that console. It did. So it sent uh, over the USB line into the USB line. It sent hello world. I'm going to set the data direction register for port E to allow for output. Now I'm in my while loop. And then now if I hit step over, that LED should toggle. And it did. We're going to try it again. And so the board works. Congratulations, you've got your first program running.